Hello and welcome to Tights TV, Neil is here and we all know Andy from Inverred Corner. So Andy, great to have you on board, mate. Hiya. It's been a bit busy week and work and this and so we've been able to meet up and uh, get someone together. So yeah, uh, it's been a while, Andy. Uh, a lot of things have happened and that. We've yeah. been on a decent away run. Um, just your thoughts on, you know, last minute winner against Fleetwood, mate, last weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um... Amazing, um, excellent. I, I just, it, 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 I mean, it was best performance, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But that doesn't matter. Um, let's say it's a good sign. Uh, you know, if you're not playing well and, and winning and yeah. winning away, well, um, well, brilliant. Uh, I've at Moon with it. Um, and again, credit goes down to. Well, it starts at top for me in mm-hmm. um, in team and that. Starts at manager, uh, and also his assistant as well. Um, getting best out at players. Mm. Um, yeah, it, it's it's awesome. It, it's it's brilliant. Can't get used to this uh, winning uh, malarkey. Yeah, this run, <laughs> excellent. What what gets me? Uh, I said it earlier on in the season, and I think you probably agree. I think I said the the most and crucial important signing will be for us. Will be gaffer. Will be coach. Yeah. And yeah. I think he's proving that now. Um, yeah, I mean, we always said, don't we, don't read too much into the first few games in the league, all can happen, especially with us with the amount of players what's coming. Yeah. But I think in now we've played, what, 10, 11 games, 11 games, I think. We're starting to see what I believe is in a belief in ta- inside his, his sin. And I think, like you said, Via, can it's got to be given to do- such a Dove Patterson and Devaney where I kind of look at it, that Fleetwood game, if we, if we play that last season and it's been nil-nil, I could yeah. have seen us losing it in the last five, ten minutes because there's concentration about that one to been there, if you know what I mean, with the light switched off. Whereas this, um, you know, pleasing to see under Duff as well, is that at half time he went in and he just stood there for about five minutes. Some players were like gutted that they weren't too long up. And I think that's credit to... The togetherness we ain't players, what we're not seeing in all, Andy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, he's getting the best out uh, players all. Well, I wrote off, I'll be honest. Uh, mm. Mike Cole is proving me wrong, which is good. Mm. You know, mm. I don't mind that. And that's what we want. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, Neil, I'm glad that um, we've got him um, into quite a fairly long contract, you know, with managers getting sacked and stuff, because. Mm. Um, I think eventually there'll be people looking at him mm. at Duff. Um, honestly, do I think if we have a good season, he's been um, nominated for manager of the month and all, and he's been he's been shortlisted for yeah. as well, which is rightly so for what he's done. Hasn't yeah, it? It, well, he deserves it. I think he should get it, but it's always a curse, though, isn't it? Mm. Um, mm. Then all gets it. Then normally, like lose the uh, next match. So. We'll just go under the radar. We'll just keep going under the radar. Yeah, Andy. yeah. Get somebody else. Somebody else deserves it. I don't know. <laughs> Give him kiss of death, like him. We'll go under uh, the radar. More. That'll do. Uh. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I mean, what what's pleasing to see as well is that uh, there have been a lot of stats about being banded about, but we picked up more points now in short space time than the last season, which I don't think we're out to do. Yeah. To be fair. It's nice to see, like what you said, Via. I mean, Devante Cole, a lot of people, including me, saying, well, mm, Devante. But yeah. it's pleasing to see as well, Josh Benson uh, getting a tune really out of him. And it's like, yeah, it's like they're completely different players. Herbie Kane, again, yeah. looks quality. On, and you look at the, the last season compared to this season. And for me, I look at then the manager, the gaffer. Improving players, which last season we didn't have, and you can see the players wanted to express the sense more and looking more conf- confident. Matt Anderson again is yeah. growing into that stature as a captain now, and again, yeah. it's belief. And if it's shown from top, like you said, Andy, it's going to get through to the players. And I, I think, me, you can see it on the pitch, yeah, they're playing for him, yeah, playing for manager. Um, I mean. Even just like we, such as Norwood and that, coming off at, uh, off at bench, uh, you've got H and come off at bench, scoring goals. We didn't really have that last season. We didn't have game changes. But again, everyone's wanted to fight for the cause, aren't they? Yeah, uh, it, it makes a difference uh, playing for manager. And I think that's what's been lacking in the last two um, appointments, honestly, mm. do. Um, 
but yeah, I think uh, Irby Kane's made a difference coming in. Um, Thomas, um, brilliant. Uh, in I mean, I know like it's League One, and you know it's not Championship, different level. But you can only play what's in front of you, can't you? And still some decent sides, and all to be fair, because yeah, think yeah, exactly. we play it's, daily doers, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a tough league. Um, mm. it, you know, it's a it's a tough league, and we've got some tough um, games coming up. Um, mm. But yeah, they've all been um, brilliant up to now for me. Um, Cole has been working because at one point, if ball was like he had, so he, he didn't used to run for it. But now mm. he's you know he's putting effort in, and that's mm. all we ask for. And um, yeah, he's reaping his rewards. He's knocking a few goals in and fetching others into play. Um, same with Benson as well. Um, what a player he's turning into uh, into as well at the minute. Um, again, only thing is, I know it's part of being successful, but in January, <laughs> you know, is, is people going to be uh, looking at him? You know, it all depends at board. Um, support stuff and try and keep them players for us to push on. Uh, but yeah, Benson is, I think, has been excellent, honestly, though. That's interesting what you just said there because I saw a, a tweet uh, this morning. It got asked a question about Anderson, um, yeah. about contract issue and that. And apparently, but it's not just Anderson, but they're in, con- uh, they're in negotiation with contracts with several players. So it looks like the club are wanting to tie down, which is refreshing yeah. to know. Uh, I know quite a few of his players have gone. And another th- thing what I've seen as well is that Morris, Woodrow, Elik and Britain have all got uh, clauses in the contracts as well when they got signed. So that's refreshing oh, to know right. as well. So, yeah. again, I think now that I know that, I'm a bit more better thinking, right, because there's going to be t- potential in sell-ons. I think uh, Carlton Morris as well, he got a uh, player at month for uh, low term. So I'm thinking, if they've got clauses in, it makes that bit of pill to swallow a bit more lighter, if you know what I mean, because we know we've got a yeah. bit more value over here. Um, I don't know what your take on this is as well, Andy, about the early kickoffs. I mean, EFL have been banding it about kind of thing. I, I, I kind of get it where it's the, the cost of living. I mean, it's affecting us all. Uh, yeah, and clubs are not exempt from that as well, such as like even non league clubs, you know. Um, but moving it potentially, I'm not saying it is potentially, um, looking at earlier kickoffs, which is fine, but run about 1 pm possibly, uh, kickoffs. I'm going to do a live later on tonight about not just this, but a, a variety of things. So it'd be interesting to see. But the, for me, there's pros and cons in this. And I'm thinking that I think the cons might outweigh the pros on certain pe- 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 people's circumstances, i.e., traveling or work commitments and stuff. What's your take on this, Andy? Because it's going to be a split, this, isn't it? Um, yeah. I mean, I know it's going to work for some people and not for others. Uh, mm. For me, it's not going to work. Um, I work well. I'm like this week, and I'm working until two o'clock tomorrow. And so, from straight from work, I've got a dash uh, from work at Capital at Wath over to football ground. Um, mm. And I've got that shift. Um, well, for a number of things, really, um, yeah. like twelve, <laughs> and, other. and also. Uh, yeah, for me, football. Um, and it's just not going to work for me. Um, mm. So there might be times, I mean, I've, I've got a season ticket. There might be times now, if that if this does come in, I might have to miss some, but I'm mm. paying for my season ticket. Um, so I, I don't know how that's going to work because no fault of my own, mm. I, I'll not be reimbursing mm. for them games. Um, mm. I think it's going to affect attendances. I honestly mm. do. Um, it's like if tomorrow were an early kickoff, I don't know how many exiters going to fetch tomorrow, but yeah, for away travel as well. Yeah, yeah, I bet they wouldn't fetch um, probably two coaches full tomorrow uh, mm. if it were an earlier kickoff. And mm. I don't blame them. You might as well just stay at home if that's the case mm. and watch it on iFollow. Uh, mm. Or again, 
the wonder why there's these dodgy streams, what people's watching. And yeah. I do get why they're doing this, because uh, of cutbacks and everything. But they've got to take into account how it's affecting people. Uh, it's going to affect crowds. It's going to affect local businesses without mm. a doubt. I mean, um, Oakwell Sandwich, Fish Shop, Mount. Mm. I'm not going to be wanting something to eat uh, any earlier than what I get now yeah. before I kick off. Mm. Uh, they're mm. going to feel the effects. Mm. Um, and, yeah, um, if you're going back to tradition, kickoffs were meant for three o'clock, so the working man can get to football grounds. So mm. they're even taking that bit of tradition away as well. Um, Do you think it'd be a good thing? Do you think it'd be a good thing this moment in time? That... No, 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 no. I mean, it's like I said, people be for it and against it. And again, we work and that and stuff like that, like you say, it's going to affect the local businesses. Do you think that there'd be, do you think if a club, I want to say put a poll out there, but do you think if it went through like a, a forum or all like that and got the fans' opinion to see where we're going to go with this and you know, would it be well, beneficial and how much is club going to save in regards to uh, uh, the lighting to offset it against the early kickoff and this other? Do you think it would be better engaged and communicated through to fans so we know what we're happening rather than well, saying, I, being told we're going to do this? I only said to Maddie, uh, my daughter, last night, who goes to matches with me, um, I need to find Khalid's uh, email uh, because mm. I want to send him an email. One of the reasons is as well, uh, and th this to me is a big one, because I, I work crappy shifts. I work every day at week, four on, four off. So, like, this week, and I'm working Saturday, Sunday. Um, and football, as well, is one of my coping mechanism, uh, mechanisms for my mental health. And I feel mm. that it, that's even been taken away now. Um, it's not even happened yet, and I, I'm stressing about it already. Mm. Uh, and football and watching Barnsley is one of the things that helps me. And now I feel like that's been took away. Um, so I, I, I'm going to try and I ain't going to clue I'm going to do it, uh, mm. try and get his email. Uh, I will think about just sending one generic to club, but is it actually going to get through to him? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I want to make my feelings uh, known about it. Well, there's clue um, there, Andy, then. If anybody watching uh, got the details and stuff like that, if you drop them in comments and stuff like that below, uh, be appreciated so Andy yeah, can get in you. contact. Um, so anybody, or if, if not, contact me direct or Andy on uh, in the red corner. If not, one way or other, we will try and get uh, contact details sorted out uh, yeah. for Andy for that. Yeah, so thank like you. Say, they need to know fans' opinion. Like I say, it... Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I'm hoping, um, well, just for tradition, that uh, most people's against it. Um, mm. But, you know, uh, like I say, it's not even happened yet and I'm stressing about it. And, mm. you know, it, 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 I don't know. I think it's a bad idea, but that's me. We'll, we'll see how it goes then, Andy. Because like I said, I'm going to do a live yeah. tonight. Um, we'll get people's opinions on that. All being well, we can get... Other fans on from other clubs as well, and their opinions on it because, mm -hmm. like I said, via it's the away travel as well. And us traveling away, you know, if we're yeah. traveling away to such as like a Shrewsbury or a Peterborough, it's going to be early. It, I kind of get it, it it's going, you're going to be back early, but you go, you're setting off early, so you're going to be cream crackered when you come back, kind of thing. Yeah, it's going to be are, yeah. Day, it? so yeah, well, it'll be interesting, that. It'll be interesting, but but on about extra, like you said, fetching up, but. Uh, we've got them tomorrow, Andy, as you know, uh, all yeah. well. We're sitting fifth at the minute in table, and uh, that's not too bad when you consider that Portsmouth are on, uh, in fourth on, and they've played 10. Uh, others have played 12 because we're a few midweek games, weren't we? And Exeter yeah. are currently 11th. Um, how do you see that going against Exeter? Do you think that we're well, going to carry on and, you know, the, keep it going? The, they've just lost the manager, haven't they? Um, mm. Exeter. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't know, that could work two ways, really, couldn't it? Yeah, it's, we're um, going to come to that. Do you, it's like, we're supposed to prove, or it could have a fact. Yeah, we're going to come to that. I don't know. I don't know. It could work both ways. Like, it's, a, mm. it's a difficult one to to call, I think. Mm. Um, you know, are they going to 
go out and prove a point or, you know, will there still be... Are you surprising Matt Taylor talking? going to Rotherham, though? That's a good one, Ben Andy. Were you surprised? Um, yeah, I was, actually. Mm. Um, mm. I thought they might have gone for somebody a bit more... Um, I could put it... A little bit more experience in their position. It sounds like they're, they're trying to... Well, I'm not saying that they are, going to, they are copying us, but it sounds like they're similar... Is it, um, is it? Because young manager proven us, isn't he? So yeah. Yeah, it, I think they said that they didn't want a manager that's been around block, and uh, yeah. they're looking for up and coming managers, which you know sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's but yeah, I, I was I was surprised that uh, they did get him. I must admit, but uh, yeah, it, 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 I think game is going to be a difficult one to call me. I think mm. it all it all depends. Well, a number of factors really, doesn't it? Um, how we play, what their mindset is, exit of mm. uh, players. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be it's going to be a tough game, without a doubt. I think they'll, uh, you know, try and frustrate us. Yeah, I I think we could do a bit, a bit similar to like a Fleetwood Town, as in. Again, it could it kind of could could work one or two ways. This, like I said, be a bit gaffer, very gaffer going. Is that whoever's come in? I'm surprising it's back. Most I've stepped up and took over at Reigns. They're going to more or less keep it like for likes so what players will know the structure or whether they'll change it. Mm. I I think if we set off at tempo and about what we have done because we're unlucky against Fleetwood when Cross were going in early, I think Benson hit post or outside post. So I think if we set off with that tempo and take gain to them, not allow them to settle in it. Yeah. But I think as the game goes on, like what you said, Via, I could see it being a, a game similar to Cheltenham. I know we won that, but it was one of them. It was just like a matter of time when was this goal going to come for us? Yeah, it was one of them. I can see it being one of them kind of games, but I've got more belief in Barnsley side now than last season to seeing this kind of game through and thinking, yeah, yeah we're right. still in it. Whereas last yeah. season would have been, God, it's still a draw this. Um, oh god, it was nice to see Bracklin's back, by the way. That that was good to see, yeah. Um, personally, Although I don't think I, I met many changes. I, I, I don't think I met many changes. I think Walter did well, though. Um, yeah, he didn't do any, yeah, didn't do anything in the pit, yeah, didn't do us in any harm in that. I've got to, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 3 1 Barnsley. Mm. 3 1 Barnsley. I just hope that we set off <clears throat> as we have been doing, like we've been playing away and we've got that belief here. Yeah. And we don't fall into that trap, as in, we're not getting away by it. So wing backs will push on a bit for him and get caught out on sucker punch, like a counter attack. I don't do like a Wickham. You know what mm. I mean? We're, we won't really ink races, but we try chasing him and we get caught out and basically with a wonder goal. and Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going three one Barnsley. I just think that Devante Cole is on form. I think yeah. Herbie Kane, I mean, midfield three, I mean, we haven't even mentioned Luke O'Connell. He were on bench, yeah. he, you know, you got Herbie yeah. Kane, Thomas, and Benson playing how they are doing. So there's options there. So I think in, I'm thinking I'm thinking three one Barnsley, my son, on that. Yeah, I'm going to score prediction. Two right. Two two yeah. Clean sheet, yeah. Keep a clean sheet. Yeah, we'll have a clean sheet. You have a clean sheet. I just, <laughs> I just hope it's a, I just hope it's a game that we don't get frustrated as too much because I think when we play away from home, we can express things more. When we're yeah. at home and it's not going our way, you can kind of sense that then in, in stands that come on, it's like that bit of urgency, a bit more expectation, should I say, being at home. But again, like what Michael Duff said earlier on at the beginning of the season. We're going to be playing scrappy games like Fleetwood. Yeah, yeah. Is, is, but, but the thing is, we came away with a result. And to be fair, we deserved it, really, if, if I'm yeah. being honest. Uh, yeah. So I'm going 3 1. You're going 2 0, clean sheet. Yeah. People who are watching, please let us know, know your thoughts, what you'll think about this. Barnsley and Exeter, if you say in comments below. And please also, if you've got contact details for anybody at club, uh, for Khalid, put them in the comments. 
So Andy can get in contact with him yeah, about please. the uh, negotiations, the talk, the possibilities. But EFL, you know, it's not it's not club asking for this. It's EFL yeah. have you know suggested it. I kind of get it for such as like your non league and your league two clubs kind of thing. I can't see it happening in Premier and Championship because <laughs> of money via. You know, I think it's like from League One, League Two downwards. So it'd yeah. be an interesting one, this. It'd be an interesting one, yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think there's other ways that they could do it. Like you know, I don't know. As soon as games finish, take leads off. I don't know. Mm. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Alt by changing it. I don't want now. I don't want it. We'll just tap international grid and not say out to anybody. We'll be right. Well, ah, uh, or give miners all meets with torches on top of air. That'll be good. <laughs> Dick, bu- Dick Bucket, you might wash. We'll be all right. Keep it going. <laughs> But no, it's been great having you, Andy. Uh, yeah, as good. always, some good content and back, mate. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Check Andy out as well in Bread Corner. Got a YouTube channel. Please help him grow his uh, channel as well. Um, one thing left to say: you Reds. You Reds.